friends i am dr siyad khadiruddin chishti and i am teaching physics to the bsc first year students my today's topic is ramsden's ip and in this ip if i study about the construction i am using here the two plano convex lenses l1 and l2 say that their convex parts are facing each other the focal lengths of both the lenses are f and f means same focal lengths the distance of separation between the two lenses is 2 by 3 f now the light rays which are coming from the objective lens of this eyepiece will make the object here uh, will make the image first image here it is i0 the light rays which are falling on the lens l1 will be refracted towards l2 and l2 will also reflect the light rays towards the observer so observer will observer will see that the image will form somewhere here at i1 the distance between these two lenses is 2 by 3 f so if i say that whether there is uh, spherical aberration or not the spherical aberration condition is that d should be equal to f1 minus f2 both the lenses are having the same focal length so value of d should be zero so to remove the spherical aberrations the value of the, these two lenses should be kept in contact but we are keeping them at a distance of 2 by 3 f so d is uh, uh, it means that it is not free from the spherical aberration now secondly for chromatic aberration chromatic aberration the distance between two lenses should be f1 plus f2 upon 2 that is f plus f upon 2 that is 2f by 2 means f so if the distance between two lenses is f then the achromatic ab chromatic aberration is removed but here the distance is 2 by 3f it means that there is chromatic aberration now let us find the equivalent focal length of this uh, eyepiece this eyepiece is not free from spherical aberration it is not free from the chromatic aberration now find the equivalent focal length so to find the equivalent focal length of this lens system formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus d by f1 f2 so i will substitute here the values 1 by f plus 1 by f minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 f upon f1 is f f2 is also f so 1f get cancel and you'll get here 2 by f minus 2 by 3f so you will get here 1 by f as 6 lcm is 3f 6 minus 2 that is equal to 4 by 3f take the reciprocal f is equal to 3 by 4f this is the equivalent focal length of this lens system equivalent focal length now let us find the cardinal points of this lens system whether uh, cardinal points means the principal points focal points and nodal points so i will find the position of the first nodal point first uh, principal point from the first lens that is principal point alpha first alpha is equal to df upon f2 d means 2 by 3f f means uh, 3 by 4 f just we calculated it and f1 f2 is also f so here f f get cancel 3 3 get cancel and you will get here the first as alpha 1 alpha as f by 2 so if i draw here the lens system here is the first lens here is the second lens l2 it is l1 this distance is 2 by 3 f 2 by 3 f it means that f2 f by 2 means 0.5 f it is 2 by 3 means 0.6 f 0.6 f means the first principal point from the first lens will be near to the second lens here it is p1 and the plane which is passing through the first principal point is known as the first principal plane now let us calculate the second principal point that is beta is equal to minus df upon f1 
So it is minus D, D is 2 by 3 F, F is 3 by 4 F and F1 is F. Here it get cancelled and you will get the value of beta as minus F by 2, 2, 2 to the 4 minus F by 2. It means that the, it is the position of the second principal point from the second lens. So second lens is this one. So I will measure the negative distance towards the left and it is f by 2 means it is near to the second lens f. So here the plane which is passing through the second principal point is known as the second principal plane. Now where are the focal points? I will find the position of the focal points. So for first focal point f1 I will write the formula minus f into 1 minus d by f2. f is 3 by 4 f minus into 1 minus d is 2 by 3 f upon f. This f f get cancelled. You will get here minus 3 by 4 f. 1 minus 3 by 2 by 3 means 3 minus 2 that is 1 by 3 means it is minus f by 4. So first focal point will be minus f by 4 means from the first lens negative distances are towards this side so if I calculate here minus f by 4 that is 0.25 f so it will be in here somewhere f1 and a plane which is passing through the first focus is called the focal plane similarly I will calculate the second focal point f2 as plus 1 minus d by f2 so it is 3 by 4 f 1 minus d by f2 is f, f2 f1 will be same both the focal lengths are same so here only the difference of negative sign will be get converted into positive sign plus f by 4 so it will be measured from the second lens second lens positive distances are measured towards the right side therefore the position of the second focal point will be here and a plane which is passing through the second focal point is known as the focal plane and where are the nodal points? As the system is kept in air, these lenses are surrounded by air. So nodal points will be coincide with the principal points. Nodal points will really coincide with the principal point. So this is all about the construction, working and the cardinal points of the Ramstein's eyepiece. Now, this eyepiece is a positive eyepiece. See here, it is a positive eyepiece. Why it is positive eyepiece? Because the image is forming just in front of the lens and it is a real image, not the virtual image. The objective lens is forming the image just before at I0. Therefore, it is called as a positive eyepiece. Now, if I place, you can place the crosswire also. Crosswire which measures the position of the any object or the distance between the objects. So, if I place the crosswire here at I0, means this crosswire will be equally magnified by the lens L1 and L2. Therefore, we can say that in this eyepiece, we can use the crosswire also. So, this is all about the Ramstein's eyepiece. Thank you.